Hello, welcome. Today we will talk about the operational module, more specifically about maintenance tasks. We will show you the main settings and tools that you can use to organize this routine on your Istia system. Before we get started, it is necessary to make some changes to set your technical tasks routine. Also remember that these tools can only be configured manually. Before starting to see the operational system screen, we must do some important configurations for the maintenance routine. The first one is users configurations, that is, the collaborators that will have access to this module. Here on the main menu on the left side we have the users and clients option. And here you will create system users by clicking users. To register a new user you must click the plus button. Here we already have users registered and we will use them as an example. I am going to select one user to configure it. Now let's click the permissions tab where we will give internal access to the new created user. If you work with collaborators that will only have access to the operational system modules, you will specify it here for each collaborator. Here we have the roles column and here we have the responsibilities column. On the roles column, you that are the main administrator, will have the system administrator option to have access to everything inside the system. However, if you want to restrict the access of your team to this operational area, you will work here with the collaborator or operational supervisor option. The difference between them is that the operational supervisor is able to assign tasks inside the operational module, so he is able to organize tasks according to each collaborator who is responsible to perform these tasks. In responsibilities, on the right column, we can see the specific functions the user will have access to. In this case, we want to give access to the maintenance tasks, so let's select this option. It is also important that here you are able to register the work shift of your employees if they have a fixed working time. This setting will affect the task screen. After finishing the configuration, click Save. Before we create technical tasks, we can categorize tasks types. To do that, go to the main menu, Catalog, Auxiliaries and Technical Task Classification. Here we can see it, add and edit the categories. Some examples are shipping, replacement, refrigeration, maintenance, electricity, and carpentry. To add more options, click this button and the field will appear for you to complete. After that, click Save. There are two different ways to create tasks. The first one is to access the main menu, go to Tasks and go to All Tasks. On the green button up here, Click Create Task to fill out the fields. The second one is by clicking the plus button on the upright and then click New Task. Both options take you to the Create New Task window. The first field to fill out is the task name. Then you select which listing this task will appear and if the entry is allowed by the guest so this task can be done. Here you describe the task with details about everything needed and here you categorize the type of task. Here we have three ways to configure a time for the execution of this task. On the time frame option, you must fill out the date and time. On the period of days option, you select the days and you can block the days within this task execution. And the last option is the due date, which is the time to execute this task with the option to block the property meanwhile. Here you can insert images and how the problem was detected. You select who detected the problem, if it was the guest, the owner, the collaborator, etc., during what routine and also the description of details about it. It is also possible to select when it should be detected and finally it is possible to assign the executor and save changes. Technical dashboard is the screen you will be able to organize tasks according to the collaborator's board, in other words, to assign tasks to the responsible ones. To do that, go to the sidebar menu, click Tasks, and then Technical Dashboard. Here it is possible to see the created task on the left side. We can drag it to the responsible collaborator of the task. To see the task's details, click the eye icon to show more information and enter extra data such as comments and insert photos. 
You can track the resolution status and when the task is finished, click here and select Done. The collaborator can also indicate this task status and after doing this, the color also changes. The tasks list is generated per day and when clicking here you will be able to see what is listed. The button here generates the report of all tasks, not only the ones of the day. Now let's talk about all tasks. To access it, go to the sidebar menu, click Tasks, and then All Tasks. Here we have the list of all tasks created on the system. If you click up here on the task, you can see the same screen with more details about the task and also change the status by clicking here on this button. Another important topic of this screen is that you can filter tasks according to your need. You can filter by the creation or execution date, by the collaborator that executed it, by type, by status, and by listing. This resource helps to optimize the operational part. Therefore, these are the main settings for you to schedule technical tasks and manage your system routine via Istius. If you would like more information about the subject, do not hesitate to click on the link in the description below.